And happy Valentine's Day! I totally wasn't even going to make a video today. I had another video idea that's sort of in the works that I'm working on, but I had an epiphany. Is that the word? Epiphany <laughs> last night, and I had to share it with you. So I'm not a really religious person, but ever since I was a kid, we always took part in Lent. So Ash Wednesday, which is today, uh, you give up something for 40 days until Easter, and usually it's junk food. So it wouldn't be all junk food. Oh no, I was clever. I'd say like, I'd, I'll give up a Snickers for 40 days, and then I'd I'd eat Mars bars. It's like I'd give up one thing, but just substitute it for something else. And so I thought this year, this year, it's not going to be about food, because, I mean, it's ridiculous. This year, I'm going to give up clutter. And I love the idea of the 40 bags in 40 days, you know, where you fill a garbage bag every day for 40 days and get it out of your house. But I don't have that much stuff. Or do I have that much time to fill a bag a day? So I thought instead, I had like this idea, I was going to just get rid of one thing. And instead of having it as a negative thing, like getting rid of, or yeah, we have this like negative, negative phrases when it comes to decluttering. So getting rid of, letting go. And so instead I thought I would give, I would gift something from my home and not just random junk, my friends, good stuff. The good stuff that I'm holding on to because it feels too good too useful, too expensive to donate. So there are things I'm never using or rarely using that are being wasted in my home because I feel like I don't want to let go of it. But when I change my mind frame and think to myself, instead of letting it go, I'm going to share it and I'm going to give it and I'm going to, yeah, turn that negative into a positive. It was like a light bulb moment last night. I got excited about sharing all the things in my home that I'm not using, like a computer. We have a, a perfectly amazing desktop computer that we're not using and we're storing in a closet. I'm gonna give that to someone who needs a computer. We, the kids got new tablets this year and we're holding on to the old ones. Why? Why are we doing that? Because they're expensive? But that's insane. So we're going to give those to someone who doesn't have a tablet. I have expensive perfumes collecting dust and a brand new Xbox 360 that I got for Christmas a couple of years ago. It's still in the box. Why am I keeping it? Every day for 40 days, I'm going to gift something, something good from my home that I'm not using and I'm not loving and I'm going to share it with either a friend or a family member or a charity. Um, just, yeah, to spread a little joy, spread a little love during this Lent period. Um, and yeah, declutter my home at the same time. It's crazy how just changing your mind frame from a ne or a phrase that you tell yourself from a negative to a positive can totally change your outlook on something like decluttering. So don't think of it as letting go. Don't think of it as giving away. Think of it as gifting and sharing. And just that positive change can have a completely different outlook on the way you declutter your home. So take the 40 gifts in 40 days challenge with me. Pick one thing every day for 40 days to gift to someone else in your life or a charity. Have a box in your garage, have a box somewhere where you just put one thing a day, fill it up, and at the end of the 40 days, share it, my friends. It's gonna feel amazing, and your house is gonna thank you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So a little bit of story time today. I just wanted to share like how bad of a driver I really am. And I know you're thinking, how bad of a driver can you be, Cass? Let me tell you, it's pretty bad, but I've never been in an accident, ever. And, and I say this all the time to my husband when he's like, how could you be such a bad driver? I'm like, I've never been in an accident. And he claims that driving into things that aren't other cars counts as an accident. Does it really? Or backing into him when he parks behind me in the driveway repeatedly counts as an accident. I don't I don't classify that as an accident because like the police weren't called or something. Uh, but I've smashed his car. What, why does he park behind me? And he leaves sticky notes. Sometimes he's like, you park in the middle. I have no choice. I have to park behind you. So then he covers everything in sticky notes, like on my keys and stuff. Don't back into me because I've done it so, so, 
so many times. <laughs> it's been really expensive too. I shouldn't laugh. It was really expensive to fix this car a couple times. But anyways, just yesterday I got stuck in a snowbank because I didn't want to park behind him in the driveway because he parked in the middle. So I parked in the empty lot beside our house, which is just a grass lot. And we parked there in the summer, but it had four feet of snow. <laughs> so that wasn't... Poof! And I just, ooh, I knew immediately because the tires were spinning and I wasn't going nowhere that I was very stuck. I couldn't actually even get the driver's side door open at first. I had to like push the snow out and then Joe had to come with the shovel and like spend a couple hours digging the van out. <laughs> he was not, he was really mad. <laughs> He's always really mad. But anyways, that's not the story I wanted to share with you today. When I first got my first vehicle, um, I, I got a new job and I had to drive for it. It just got my license so I bought a vehicle so I could have this great job at the Lung Association and it was like my second week maybe there and I'm blaring the music on the way to work and I'm rocking out and I'm driving and I only had my license for a couple of weeks and for some reason I was going way too fast into the parking lot. I just didn't brake when I went into my parking spot. I just drove into my parking spot into the wall of the building full speed and then was like whoa and we have no airbags because i had a really old beat up old truck uh, so yeah i drove my i drove right into the wall and i threw it in park and i was like oh well i'm here and i got out and i went inside and all my coworkers were like Cass, did you feel that earthquake oh my god there was an earthquake and like everything was shaking and pictures were falling off the wall <laughs> I did not tell them because I had just got the job and the job required me driving the company van everywhere and I had just got my license and I didn't want to tell them that because I was afraid I might get fired and so I let them believe that there was an earthquake in Chatham, Ontario, which there's never been an earthquake ever in the history of ever and they were calling everyone, did you feel that earthquake? <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, there was no great earthquake of 2005. It was me driving full speed into the side of the building for some crazy reason. Just had to share that with you. I feel better. I feel better admitting that giant lie. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.